just gonna hit go live. All right. All right, check, check. Welcome everybody, welcome back to another one of our lunchtime live streams. I'm John Bobro, and today uh, we're gonna be streaming on the topic of how many blinks is too many? And so if this is your first time watching, I hope this will be a little informative about uh, Blinks, the new game system that uh, uh, has been taking the world by storm. And with me today, uh, I've got Ishmael. Let me bring you up. Hey, Ishmael. That's an interesting question, John. How many Blinks are too many? I feel like the answer has to be over 9,000. This, I'm, I'm a little bit curious what's... Uh, uh, so, Ishmael, I know that you're... Uh, you have quite a bit of a math background, <laughs> in fact. Uh, I lost almost all of it, unfortunately, <laughs> besides the algebra needed for accounting. <laughs> That's, well, uh, I, I, I know that when I found out that you used to teach high school mathematics, uh, I was pretty psyched. Oh uh, yeah, you know, thankfully, um, I was able to at least pull that off. And sometimes teaching is not as much about being an expert in the material. Granted, I did go up to partial differential equations. And it's more just about like understanding people and wanting to connect with them. So I was able to pull that off and connecting with high school is never again. Do you, <laughs> but it was... do, you, do you think that uh, today on our stream, we're gonna get into uh, differential mathematics? Is that uh, the direction this is going? What, John, you're breaking up. I think uh, I might have to, we might have to cancel the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's amazing how much you and my partner Jamie have in common. Um, <laughs> uh, Did she also study math intensely just for the test and then immediately forgot? Uh, it? That's one hundred percent correct. I think uh, <laughs> I think ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the country uh, uh, handles math in that way. So uh, no, no judgment here by me. Um, right. uh, so 9,000 is what you've arrived at. Um, cool. Over 9,000. So 9,001. Nine, that's the threshold. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, I feel like we should, we should start at the other end. So, like, we're going to, today's, today's live stream, uh, we're going to break out some games, um, and I'll share my screen, uh, and Ishmael can uh, uh, be live commentating on uh, what we... That color... Harry. What's that? <laughs> Color commentary? I call commentary. That's right. That's right. Ishmael's, Ishmael's our commentary. He's going to be... Uh, uh, it's, it's something... Uh, I would say it's kind of the most valuable thing in this, in this stream. Most valuable part. <laughs> as long as I do my job right and show the right like things, um, mm -hmm. you bring it home. It's reacting like, wow! Over by round three by knockout. John has defeated Wham, <laughs> undisputed champion of the world. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like I, I feel like uh, I'm gonna have to do this because you said you know you you brought up Wham. So let me switch over to camera camera two here. So uh, you know uh, when you talk about how many blinks is too many blinks, um, it, it's you know blinks is about not how many, but what you're playing, and it's different for each one. So let's, I feel like Wham is kind of an awesome one to, to start with. It's part of, the, part of the game system. So if you're watching here, you likely have uh, a Blinks game system in hand, or you're thinking about getting one, maybe for Father's Day, for somebody that you love, um, or you're looking at bringing Blinks into the family, getting your kids excited about something that's, uh, you know, both fun and Dare I say, educational? <laughs> Definitely educational. Uh, and I think you're about to learn today, John, that once you play Wim with that many blinks, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> I'm not. Sure. Hey, you might if you if you succeed at this, you probably should be in the X Men and not founder of Loop Thirty. <laughs> that's uh, that's so. I, I feel like it's worth a, It's worth a shot. So this oh, is this is a. There's no better way to say this. This is a stupid amount of blinks for Wham, and um, <laughs> it's it's the perfect amount. So like, um, well, yeah, I want to show. So let me let me break some aside. So this is ten blinks. This is mm -hmm. this is the like uh, um, uh, here's 
here's a game system nine blinks. Is that right? Here we go. So game system nine blinks. Um, and then let me get another, here's another nine. So this is, I got together with my friend. We put our game systems together. Um, and then uh, here would be a third friend bringing theirs to the table. So this is actually not a, a crazy, uh, yeah, so this is 27. And then what did I have here? This is uh, 28, 29. Um, maybe I'll break one, one more out for the 30 we've published. So if you have three people, you can really all get at the board together and succeed at this. Um, with me being remote, John, I'm sorry I let you down. <laughs> That's, I, I have to say this is more fun with you in person. And so I'm looking forward to having you back down at the office for this. But let's let's see. I'm gonna, you know. So in in Wham, my goal is to hit the red red moles um, when they come up. This is this is just gonna be nuts. So let me let me get started here. Mm -hmm. Usa. All right. So this is 29 blink Wham. Oh, good lord. <sighs> Round moving. one. You actually. That was warm up, John. That doesn't count. You know, everybody has to warm up and break a sweat. So, so that one count. I won't submit that footage to ESPN because you would not qualify for the Wham Esports team. I could tell you that right now. E but that was a warm up. ESPN eight, the Ocho. <laughs> Let's see. So, all right, that was a warm up. Mulligan. Yeah. It's but that's tough, though. That's really difficult. But you gotta at least get past round one. Like I don't want to put pressure on you or anything, but you're you're so close, man. Okay. So so one person way I'm 28, not looking good so far. Let's see what I can. Yes. Yeah. Good. 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 <laughs> yeah. End the game. Leave the lobby. <laughs> there it is. Round two. Yeah. Two. Actually, no. We're actually moving, and you got a strike there, but that's all right. That's totally expected. And you almost got three through. So I feel like that time you were doing a really good job using all of your fingers instead of just your pointer finger. That's, and I feel like if uh, one thing that people like the very first time playing Wham, it's like you got to hit them right in the middle of the blank. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so there's like kind of this nice like, uh, and I, I was just mashing. <laughs> <laughs> You're fairly accurate, though. You know, like you said, um, majority of the times it seems like you're just able to to hone in on the center of that blink and then you know hit it with precision. So I was definitely very impressed. I, have you ever played Wham with one blink? I actually never done that before. I think the the lowest number is three. We might have to have another stream of what's the lowest number of blinks you can get away with. Well, I see. I'm I'm gonna. Uh, well, I feel like we should go to both both extremes i mm -hmm, mean mm -hmm. here i'm just gonna dim the camera a little bit so there you go now you can actually see um see how that looks there we go interesting because you can kind of you might be able to play wham like dynamo with one blink if you have two people you know what i mean like what if we were trying to keep it alive and clicking it and then sliding it over and trying to actually beat the game by clicking it and sliding it over. And instead of me trying to get you out, I'm trying to help you make sure that you catch it cleanly, hit the mold, and then slide it back to me for 30 rounds. Like, do you think that could work? I think that's super cool. I mean, I think that uh, one of the things that like, uh, yesterday I was talking to some of our customers on the phone and just like, uh, I love that people are like, finding new ways to play the games. Uh -huh. uh, that's suspicious. I feel like doing Wham collaboratively in that way with a pass uh, would be really fun. I feel like you have both Wham and Dynamo in the. Uh, oh, I take that back. I take that back. You get Wham in the game system, so you could try out a Dynamo style game. Um, so you actually want to move forward and get the full Dynamo game. But Dynamo's in the solo challenger pack, so uh, yeah. Um, I. Let's see. So I, I think that um, 
Okay. The bridge was so cool in the fail state, by the way, with that many. It honestly looks like an evil artificial intelligence about to hack everything in the room. Uh, you never know. You just never <laughs> know. I'm glad they don't have Wi-Fi in them right now because other... Famous last <laughs> How many blinks do you have to put together for it to create a mind of its own and then rob all your... <laughs> That's... <laughs> Shut all your lights off and blow a fuse. And Jarvis! Like Jarvis! It. Jarvis. <laughs> What was that? Age of Ultron? Age of Blinks? I really hope that that doesn't be that isn't traced back to us that we created Ultron. That'd be a real disaster. Moving on. <laughs> I feel that that's that's probably an appropriate way to sign out of this stream is like the Blinks <laughs> just take over. The Blinks just uh, got them on of their own and hijacked the stream for themselves. So it's clear that like I am not uh yeah, round three, I feel like that's a quit while you're ahead situation. Definitely. Um, so I, I feel like, uh, let's see, how many blinks is too many blinks? So I, I feel like to figure that out, I mean, we, we're going to have to take a look at uh, some of the other games in the system. Mm -hmm. uh, and like, Wham, do you know what the physical limitation of how many blinks you can play this with is? For one person physically possible or for um, in terms of like for it to actually function no like I I get ten of my I get all of my friends all ten of my friends um, I, I have a very tight-knit ten ten friend group um, mm -hmm. uh, I bring all ten of my friends over and like we get our blinks together and I'm like oh you've got you've got 30 blinks because you you've got all the games I've got my 30 you've got your 30 um, and so we're, we're putting them together and so that what would that be we've got 270 blinks like is that too many can we play can we play wham with 270 of, of course you can play Wham with 270 blinks you just need to have either the biggest floor space or the biggest table on earth but you can actually honestly if you were on a basketball court you would be balling no pun intended. That's... But it, you can do it. There's no limit to how many blinks you can put together um, and play. And I think, honestly, if you're on a basketball court, you might actually be able to get through a couple rounds. That's. I feel like Easier. like one long strip, and you just you press start, and then like have to catch up as it's. You know, it's like okay, start the game, mm -hmm. and then like down the row. I'd be playing it like Twister, like I'd be standing on the board, socks and shoes off, playing with my feet and all ten of my fingers. Well, I think, I feel like if you're going to get that many blinks together, um, you know, one of the games in our, uh, I believe it's in our action, I turn back, let's see. So, last night I talked to my mom as often as possible. Her 70th birthday is actually coming up in uh, this month. Awesome. Congratulations um, to your mother. That's big shout out to Susan Bobro. Uh, we, as it gets closer, we can really celebrate it. Um, uh, but she was bringing up, I was, I was sharing with, uh, on one of our customer calls, I was sharing some of her favorite games. And she said, you know, what's, what's the one with the race cars? Uh, I mm -hmm. really like that one a lot. And I was like, oh, right, Speed Racer. It's been a while since I've played it. Um, and so I figured I should, I think Speed Racer has the coolest, um, recently the most cool art. I like, this is like one of my- Elizabeth, I'm a no child. It's one of my favorite packages. I'm, I'm totally biased. Um, mm. Although the honeybees on the Solo Challenger, that sticker, I want to put on everything. Mm -hmm. I still am biased towards the Epic Adventure because like it ends up being such a beautiful map. And I can't wait for the day, I've never said this before, I can't wait for the day where I can get it as a 3D sculpture. That'd be absolutely ridiculous if that ever existed, which we've never talked about before, and we have no plans on doing it. That, but that'd be if, if, it, if we could get a 3D sculpture, if someone had a fan created 3D sculpture. I, I feel like if you're watching and you're a big Blinks fan, uh, and you happen to be like a, a sculptor, um, I feel like now is the time to speak up and be like, Oh yeah, like I feel like Epic Adventure, Epic Adventure is primed for some fan art. Mm -hmm. I can. So what we would likely do, totally off the cuff, 
is we would take this sculpture and we would hold an auction to auction it off to the biggest Blinks fan. And we would donate that money to charity if this sculpture existed. And I promise you, I would win that, that donation. No one is going to outbid me for this sculpture, I can assure you. <laughs> That's, I noticed, I, well, I know that like NFTs are the big thing right now. Mm. And I feel like... Um, NFT of the original Epic Adventure. I think that uh, yeah, y you can you can have the physical one, but I, I want the NFT. If you're gonna make, I'm gonna be losing money, and you're gonna be making money. <laughs> That's big, John. Big brain. Um, let's see. So I got I got Speed Racer loaded up, and mm -hmm. um, I I feel like actually Speed Racer, um, another one of the games you could play with any number of blinks um but uh whenever i'm trying to think we were actually remembering when we were at the bar and we saw melissa she had broken out her blinks yeah i'm gonna make a note to reach out to her she's amazing she annihilated me at speed racer i honestly thought she had stole my blink when she took them out of her backpack because i'd never met someone else at that time who had blinks so she just took blinks out unprompted and i was like those are those have to be mine. But no, she had totally bought her own blinks, and I met a stranger at a bar with them, and then she proved that she is the best esports, the you know the best speed racer player in the world. And I just believe it. Like, not only did she have her own blinks, and I accused that I accused her of stealing, but she was also way better than me at them. And that was a really cool experience. It's I. She taught us things that we didn't even know about speed racer. Mm -hmm. um, which was awesome, and I'll, I'll share one of those, which was to keep track of how good you are. She had asked us, she came to the table and was like, what's your high score? And mm -hmm. I had previously been keeping track of score on time. How long mm -hmm. can I go? And she was like, oh no, we count in our family. Right? Mm -hmm. It was how many, how many like pieces Flappy can Bird. you transfer? Like Flappy Bird, that's right. How many pipes can you can you jump through? Yeah. Um, kind of like Flappy Bird. There's, oh, go ahead. No, I I just thought that to your point that it was really cool, that that had just never come across to us until we we met someone else outside of the company who obviously thought differently. It's, and I my I'm not sure if I feel like you must know this, but. Melissa, when she ordered Blinks, she ordered their, them for uh, Christmas. And mm -hmm. we had just gotten Blinks in stock and uh, real tight to get. We you know, promised to get as many of them out to customers as we could. And uh, I saw that Melissa was in New York. And here we are in New York. And I was like, okay. Uh, her, her set arrived, and it was, I think, the day before Christmas. And I, I put... I didn't, I couldn't find a Santa cap, but I, I biked, I biked over, uh, her set and dropped them off at her home. Okay. Pump the brakes there. In New York city, the city that never sleeps, you couldn't find a Santa cap. <laughs> cap. Cap. That's a lie. <laughs> I should, I should, I should be careful what I say, especially to the person who keeps year round Christmas lights. Yeah. There's no way you should have. I don't. You should have reached out to me. There was no excuse for that. You didn't know how serious I was about Christmas, but no, never again, John. <laughs> I'm. Would it? Would I make it up if uh, if I threw like a wreath around, or if I if I carried my Hanukkah menorah in hand on my handlebars? But did you do that? That's, you did not do. That, John. I, I cannot tell a lie. <laughs> Next time. <That's... laughs> what if we actually did that? What if we delivered? people's blinks Christmas like by ourselves and then like saying carols and war hats I'm going to plan that and say that because people might remember <laughs> people will hold us accountable for anything said on our streams and I think that's a good thing I'll, I'll definitely pull up you know I'll try to some houses not every house just the same when I was in college let's see all right, so I'm 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 gonna set up. I, I'm getting a little creative here because Speed Racer, of course, the goal is to you know last as long in the race as possible. But um, when you 
got a lot of blinks, you can also just create crazy tracks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and you got one right here. Let's see. Oh, what were the chances of that? That's perfect. If you had one more, it'd be, I guess, somewhat ruined, or you just have to go in a different direction. So let's see. So if I double click, it automatically creates a track that works. Um, mm -hmm. And we we added that specifically for this case because it was like, well, what if we want to, what if you want to create a track? You don't want to have to, you know, be correct. So let's see. So starting a, a car on this, this is gonna, we're just gonna like sit here waiting. That snails a little bit. Yeah. Do so the fastest it can go is one mile per hour. Is that what we I th concluded? I think we calculated that with Dan on another stream and with the help of the community. Like it was, you know, what was the fastest these can go? One mile per hour actually looks pretty fast on here. So <laughs> that said, this is this is not one mile per hour. This is this is at the start of Speed Racer. So Don, you walk in all that trash and still lose. <laughs> well, but, so what I want to show, what I want to show is I actually want to start it faster. So let's, oh yeah. So secret mode, if you rapid click, I think once you're like above 20 clicks, it's going to go as fast as it can go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It just, it looks kind of a lot more too, just with the animation. It's pretty. You can, if I'm correct, you can make a circle and let it just go around the circle forever, can you? Um, there we go. Boom. I didn't know that on my own. I think it was one of our younger Blinks owners, may have been in elementary school or middle school, who actually let us know about that and that this was one of their favorite ways to play, to make their own track and just like, watch it go around really cool and sometimes you can send multiple cars i'm correct can you and crash them uh that's yeah so like i can launch another car here behind whoa i think that one's gonna catch up mm -hmm. um yeah i mean like when this is i feel like this is my cousin's favorite game so i told you my mom brought up this game and i'm so glad she reminded me of it uh this is Honestly, it's been one of the cool things. It's like, oh, wow, it's been uh, like uh, I used to play this game a lot when uh, we released the first 12. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but since I've been kind of digging into the more recent ones and playing ones in the forum. Um, oh, and we're starting to see when you get going real fast, every once mm -hmm. in a while you'll see these kind of like phantom crashes. Yeah. It's kind of like the car's backfiring. I'll call it a pothole. You know, the car hit a pothole, you know, was a little disruptive, but it got back on track. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is, this is getting me uh, nostalgic. So yeah, this is like the first time I broke these out with my cousins, they were in love with uh, uh, Speed Racer. And it's such a good, so like getting the game system and the uh, uh, action pack is like, is a really sweet starting spot where it's like, okay, I got 12 blinks. Um, I love that Alfred came here just to, he's like, just going to drop in just to say there's no such thing as too many blinks. Um, mm -hmm. spoil, spoiler alert. Oh, oh, I, <laughs> the answer, the cat is off the bat. It's busted, busted. Um, it, it, I guess, um, speed racer is a type of game where the more blinks you have, the easier it is actually. So I wonder if there is a way to also like, man, this is just way too easy. Or like, let's say if you had 200 blinks, you could still find a way maybe on a basketball court or something to have it be still feel challenging. I don't know. That's true. That's true. I feel like it becomes different. It becomes a different game. Um, mm -hmm. Similarly, I feel like with a lot of blinks, like you just, you know, pull six aside um, or in all honesty, I, I so we used to play with six. Um, I'm gonna break this out, but now when I play Speed Racer, I feel like six is actually too many. And the reason why I say that is because um, with six, um, I saw this at 
uh, the Play NYC event um, hosted by Playcrafting in New York. They're actually going to be hosting that again in uh, August 2nd, uh, I think is mm -hmm. right. Um, but I saw one of the people at the convention start their speed racer like this, and then they just, oh, wait, no, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> You're close. I think it was, so the first person I ever saw do that was Aaron. Did you meet Aaron at Play NYC? No, uh, no, we met at uh, Global Game Jam. Oh, okay, so the first time we met Aaron was Global Game Jam. No, actually, I'm pretty sure you, you might not have known it, but Aaron, I think, was at Play NYC. Because remember, I, I dropped that, that water bottle off to you? Yes. I was with Aaron that day. I'm curious if it was oh. Aaron strategy with that before you met him you're you may be 100 that's that's awesome if that's the case i feel like that's worth calling out aaron is a creator of now two games on the games on the blinks platform uh mm -hmm. both uh reactor and trifoil which uh i i hate to always be dropping favorites here <laughs> but trifoil is, a bit. Tri, trifoil is jamie's J Jamie's current favorite. Um, mm -hmm. Like when we're over at a friend's place, and I'm like, I'm like, what do you think? Should we should we break out uh, a game? And she'll be like, you got trifoil on you. <laughs> so I it's it's, I mean, Jamie likes deep strategy games, and so like Speed Racer, she's like, it's fun to watch, and I love seeing like other people play. But for her, she's like, I'm. Um, it's funny. She says she doesn't like dexterity games, but she always beats me at them. So, <laughs> um, that's awesome, though, that you met Aaron and Spencer. I guess half a year before you were formally introduced, but also that you know, obviously, we have love for our initials. Um, although it's really impressive to see the way that our new games are kind of building on them, creating something that are exciting and capturing. Uh, the hearts of all the blinksters out there that's yeah totally and i i'm like i'm so focused i'm so concentrate oh, dude it's a lot technically it's kind of like a lot um i think it might be a lot easier but you're saying six is too many strategy because so, of that strategy so yeah i realized because of this strategy i was like well six just allows you to do this when you're yeah. in and you know if one of if you're racing versus your neighbor like and they get to this state um it's like oh man game over for you they're just gonna rock it um but with five now i can't do that strategy in the same way yeah it's it's a lot more asymmetric you have to be then your dexterity has to be really strong so I, I kind of like Speed Racer with five, and I even find it fun to see how far I can go with three. Um, as crazy as that sounds. All right, I feel like I need some race car commentating here. Okay, now John pulls the e-brake and turns the corner, counter steers to the left side, understeered, hit the rail, and we're done. <laughs> This is like E, E, E formula here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Remember when we did marble racing? That That's was. We have, we have to make a video where I put some color commentary over Speed Racer, as uh, people may not, people obviously won't know, but we used to try to get a team and do something together virtually. Dan had an amazing idea to have us watch competitive marble racing, which has some of the best commentary I've seen in any sport that. I have no business watching. <laughs> it's, I, that honestly, like, I really got into it. So, like, Dan, I, when he told me about it, he's like, you know, it's, it's marbles, but it's commentated like it's, uh, like it's racing. And it's, he, well, actually, I, like, he was telling me about it. He didn't tell me, he just, he's like, he's like, this is something that I watch religiously. Yeah. And you get attacked with the marbles, man. It's, uh, it's really cool. I, I would love to do, I would love to do a collaboration with, uh, Marbula One. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
if if anybody watching is curious check out marbula one it's a rad yeah. channel on uh on youtube um i also see cool uh for a lot of games it's uh let's see um Mmm, having, uh, having tons of blinks for thalassophobia is really good. Mm. That's a great point. I actually have thalassophobia handy. Thalassophobia is one of the games that um, uh, all my, like, I feel like my friends who are into indie games really love. Um, I don't, like, there's just something uh, deep about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, had to. See, that was a very good pun. <laughs> Deep ocean. Deep. Yeah, uh, I see. What... I, well, now now I'm going to have to load up Thalassophobia. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the comments were, you know, having having batteries on hand, uh, I feel like it's a good time to mention this is a recent addition to the uh, Move 38 shop is coin cell batteries. Um, I change mine every six months or so. Um, yeah, same. And uh, so getting a cache of some coin cell batteries, uh, we found some really great deal on coin cell batteries and wanted to pay that forward to the community. And so you can uh, get a, uh, we sell them in packs of 10 or 20. So you can have them nice and ready. And actually, if you're really curious about how to carry a lot of batteries on you, um, uh, when I was inventing Blinks, uh, I had a bunch of coin cell batteries on me all the time. And so uh, if you go to shapeways.com, you can find a coin cell battery holder uh, that I designed and you can, uh, they'll 3D print one for you. You don't even need to own a 3D printer. Um, if you do have a 3D printer and you wanna make your own coin cell battery holder, just write move 38 and uh, we'll send you a file to print. Get to that in the, the product page. If people uh, want to go and 3D print on their own? Uh, we do not have that link on the product page. We should add a link to the one you can buy from Shapeways and then a link for the one you can download. Perfect. That's... I'll make a note. <laughs> this is why we do these live streams. Yeah, just to remember cool ideas. Um, let's see. Um, I'm also checking the comments. Um, Hex and Wood is another one that's really great with a lot of blinks. I think that's absolutely right. For everybody getting in on the on the Sakura strategy set, um, the first batch sold out in what? Under four hours. Under, so the first batch sold out in under four hours. They're live and discounted on our website right now, so you can get in and get the AI. Um, and uh, there's a limited batch again for the latest Sakura strategy games, so... Uh, now's a great time to pre-order them. You can actually go to move38.com and pre-order the Sakura strategy games right now. Um, Hex and Wood, I like to play with uh, 36 blinks. Is my or, Sorry, 35 blinks is my favorite way to play. How many blinks were you using uh, in your infamous story where you lost six times to the artificial intelligence in a row? 18. Mm -hmm. 18 blinks. Um, and I, I wanted to see, I was like, okay, if this is going to be a game that we publish, how fun can it be with 18 blinks? That's, Obviously. that's like Reason. a reasonable amount for most people. It means I got a game system. I told my friend about them. My friend got a game system. We've got 18 blinks. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, the fact that the AI destroyed me, um, there's no way, there's no gentle way to put it. I was just totally destroyed. Is, has there been any redemption? Is it time for redemption? Um, <laughs> I, uh, to be honest, um, I'm, I'm better, I'm better at uh, Hex and Wood, um, but in the game layout that um, I, like in the instruction booklets, so in those <laughs> layouts, uh, the the AI is still better than me. It, Let's see, in time. In time. In time. So I'm gonna create some sort of. Uh, I feel like I want to create a pocket here for 
thalassophobia. Okay, this mm-hmm. is kind of cool. Um, so let's see. So to create my character, okay, I'm going. So this is one of those games that I actually just, it's so beautiful and easy to get lost in. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and I like this. I'm getting a lot of ocean to navigate. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and I think it's showing up. Is it showing up pretty well on screen? I think it's showing up really beautifully. Like, even for me, I find it hard to, to commentate because I'm really just getting lost in the game and how wonderful it looks. So actually, this is a cool thing to show. So see how I'm trapped right now? Mm-hmm. So there's the seaweed. Oh, but then I got a spot to break through. Um, oh, so I'm trapped again. So I can come back out this way. When they go back down to ocean, uh, the seaweed, uh, it drifts. Um, but you have to, you have to wait. I think the seaweed drifts after it has to return to that sort of sparkling ocean feel. Mm-hmm. Wow, I didn't expect to... I'm like... I'm navigating a lot. There it is. Okay. So let me see if I can come back out this... Cool, there we go. Nope. There we go. Two levels up. I wonder if Starlin has played Thalassophobia yet. I'm sure he has. Um, from the sounds of it, he really loves Alchematch and that the Epic Adventure set. I think Alchematch is his favorite game. Uh, so I'm sure he's a, um, gotten deep into all of those games, and especially since he really likes the solo games. I'm sure this is one that he's gotten into a lot. I'm also, I feel like, you know, I'm talking about Starlin playing. I mean, Starlin is sharing how, like, meditative uh how he's been playing blinks at the end of the work day is an ex- just a way to kind of like recharge um but i also wanted to share and we'll have to do a stream a stream welcoming in our summer interns but our summer interns are starting mm-hmm. um and so we just welcomed uh jude to the team yesterday and they're going to be with us for uh the summer and uh i i have to say like uh I don't know. I mean, we just get so lucky. We get the most awesome interns. We got, we've been like, extremely lucky and so proud that, you know, we have people with such high energy and who are so talented in their work as well. We get some low energy people too. Yeah. Good low energy. They're, they're high energy and excited in their own way. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> I, uh, too much energy in the room and and it explodes. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I am. I feel like I'm actually really in I'm jeopardy back. of losing. I. I don't want to jinx myself here, but I honestly don't think I've ever lost at the lassophobia. You just, I, I feel like he, that's exactly how you jinx yourself, but <laughs> uh, I'm bringing you on. How many seconds left do you think you have in the scuba tank? Uh, well, I've got three lights on, so can you see that? Yeah, I can actually see it pretty well. Um, so I'm halfway through the game. Um, I actually... Oh, goodness. Oh, man. I... It seems like you're in peril. I'm pretty trapped in here. Have you ever oh, played Sonic? Here we go. I, I can just imagine the music of Sonic as he loses oxygen in the underwater levels <laughs> and, the, and the panic that comes with it for those original gamers. Oh, totally. I Whenever I'm playing Blinks games, I like imagine, for me, I, I imagine Nintendo music. It's mm. just like... For me, the music of Nintendo games, um, like the sounds in like uh, Mario Galaxy, or like, I, there's just something so juicy about Definitely. them. 
Um, and so every time I'm like, yeah, I would love to actually have somebody like, we should have somebody with like a little instrument doing some live mm -hmm. uh, play along with this. Be Nintendo in person because I think we'll get copyrighted, but we could try to make our own theme song for the Thalassophobia. Here we go. Okay. I'm down to one, man. I am. I believe in you. I think you're doing well. Ishmael, I do not know if this is. Uh... Oh. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Alfred's commenting on the fact that I'm playing with a static board, so I'm not reshuffling. In this game, it's oh. totally legal. Here we go. In this game, it's totally legal to move pieces. Sometimes it's the mm. best strategy. I've been playing by re-navigating. Mm. There is a skill when you have this many blinks at fracturing the board effectively and bringing it back together, no pun intended. That's... Oh, I guess you could play okay. fracture the practice, fracturing the board. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you just see that? Yeah. It was still beautiful. Like, I can't be too angry because the fail state of this game is incredibly beautiful as well. Oh, wow. I It's so, it's so eerie. The moment you first see red and then it spreads like it's, a virus, it just... Uh. You're stuck. Oh man, I'm pretty positive we could watch a slow motion replay on this, but I'm pretty English. positive that I was at the last level. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Just killer. You got it next time, man. That's all I can say. I think that's the beautiful thing about Blinks is it just makes you want to hop in again. Oh man. Uh, so, so I guess to keep the theme going, how many blinks do you think would be too many for thalassophobia? Too many blinks for thalassophobia. I don't know. I mean, you, you said in the beginning, I think over over 9,000. <laughs> That's my end. I'm, do it. I, you know, I just think, uh, well, you know what? When, when you start thalassophobia, you long press to start the game. And um, I don't know if there's a... Uh, I don't know. For me, I would say like maybe, maybe more than two hundred, because I feel like there'd be territories that I would never navigate to. Exactly. Um, so I feel like I feel like um, I don't know. We've probably got some people on the live stream who have you know upwards of sixty blinks, or I know there are some blinksters that have over a hundred. And mm -hmm. I think thalassophobia could be played with over 100. But 200, I feel like you're probably pushing it to, like, it's kind of like the real ocean where it's like we just have never been there. Yeah. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> um, now I kind of want to see somebody add, like, a little mod to thalassophobia of seeing, like, a shadow of a shark or something <laughs> just pass through every once in a while. I think that'd be amazing, and I'm really excited for the day. And links are incredibly easy to mod, and it's incredibly easy for people to install and, and get those mods. I feel like it'll really be the talk of the town and have people, obviously they love the base games, but revisiting some older games they haven't played in a while because they've been modded, so. Um, I'm also, I was just looking at uh, a comment of if there are any current discount codes for Blinks. And that's an awesome question. Um, I believe right now, so we're about to be running uh, the Father's Day sale that's coming up. Um, so I want to make a big call out to that. I know that uh, currently there's a sale on some of the bigger sets on Wellbots, one of our newest retail partners. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as coupons go, I believe if you visit the site and sign up for our uh, uh, sign up for our mailer, um, uh, that's the best. There's always discounts coming through there, so we love to share the latest discounts. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we're always happy to point you to the latest ones. Mm -hmm. Father's Day VIP. Alfred knows it. 
I should just be able to recall that off the bat. Perfect. Thank you so much, Alfred. No, he's he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. All you gotta do is go to the website. It's there. Or install Honey. Sometimes that's pretty handy. It picks up those discount codes. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Um, Let's see. Oh, and I think we gave the Father's Day VIP to uh, Blinksters in the community to give them an early start on the Father's Day. So once you're in the community, you get some extra perks too. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh man, I just, I booted it up again. Well, I feel like, I feel like, you know, we've, we've gone through a number of them. I actually, Ishmael, how do you feel if I if I load up one more uh, load oh, up one more game? Of course, yeah. Uh, so this game, uh, we were to be warned. Um, oh goodness! Oh, so many of them have. So like, let's just actually pop through them. We can kind of look at each of the. Um, I've I'm missing some of the games here in my set, and I have duplicates of others, and that's okay. Um, uh, let's see. So let's 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 kind of go through them. Uh, Fracture. What do you think is the most number of links you'd want to play Fracture with? So the limit you can play Fracture. There are six colors, right? Six colors, six teams maximum. And um, I don't know. I feel like it'd be tough to get more than six blanks happy. Okay, so thirty-six is the number for you. Um, what do you feel like you can get? Let's say a hundred blanks happy if you had six hundred. No, I think it'd be, I think it'd be, um, I would say I'd be down for twice that. I'd be down for 72. I think mm-hmm. I could make 12 blinks happy with six, six players playing. Um, and I think it would just look amazing. It would look absolutely insane. That's why I, that, I, I really feel like for some of these games at the, at the edge case, I feel like the basketball court. Oh, I, well, I, so how awesome would it be to bring the community together so everybody just like the community has more blinks than move 38 has Mm -hmm. and just like have an event where people get to bring their blinks together and actually fill like a basketball like just being able to play these games at crazy scale that'd be a beautiful thing i hope we can do it uh, as events start to as we start to look to plan our own events i see you holding puzzle is this a trick question? Puzzle 101, what's the... Well, Jonas actually commented in there that you can play with multiple sets, which is mm-hmm. true. We've done that on a live stream. The most I've done for puzzle is 18. Mm-hmm. So three puzzles at the same time. And if you have a developer kit, uh, you can load up OG Puzzle 101, which allows you to create puzzles to hand off to someone else. Mm-hmm. Um I have to also share that uh, Dan, when he created, Dan and Vanilla, when they created uh, Puzzle 101, uh, the first time he showed Puzzle 101 to me, he said, uh, six is way too few to play. It's just too easy. I disagree. You, you do something interesting with uh, six blinks, which is how many puzzles can I get together can I get through in a minute? And I feel like that's really cool. And especially like if I do a puzzle, flip it upside down and pass it to you and see if you could do it faster, I find that a lot of fun as well. But I'll say, you know, as we were talking about the modding community again, if there was just a bunch of puzzles that other people created and it was just simple for me to install those puzzles and put them on as many blinks as they suggest, like that's kind of like the dream come true at that point. Yep. Yeah. Just like. Uh, kind of like uh, Pirates and Lasers is designed. Mm-hmm. Here's a puzzle. See if you can solve like more and more challenging puzzles. Is there a limit to how many blinks you can play with Pirates and Lasers? Do I have Pirates and Lasers sitting in this bunch here? If I don't, oh man, I want to see the laser across all of them. We got to, man. That's... <laughs> I d- like, uh, Pirates and Lasers is the most gifable games. Pirates and Lasers, there's such a great review on YouTube. Um, one of the uh, one of our favorite YouTubers, Josh Kaplan, the board game captain, did an amazing review of Pirates and Lasers. I wonder if it's still his favorite. He shared at that time that this is his favorite game. Um, uh, but 
I actually I cheated here. I I, I loaded up dra uh, Dark Ball because I just think Dark Ball's gonna look rad on. You panicked. <laughs> I panicked. I where's um. Yeah, we talked. I was gonna grab pirates and lasers. I can. You know what? I'm in the office. I should just grab it. Let me let me grab it because we can't talk about it and not show it. Well, entertain people in the meantime. Oh. Perfect. Sorry, everyone who heard me make those sorts of noises. I didn't think that through. <laughs> this is my cat, Barada. She is mixed Siamese and tuxedo. She is the softest thing in the world. Say hi, Barada. He was actually playing, um, playing with Bomb Brigade today. And our intern, Jew, actually showed a of their cat playing with... Um, Tiptoe Volcano through a screen. I'm sorry, you guys can't see me at all. <laughs> There's nothing I could do. Yes, Mel, you want to see something real funny here? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm just going to grab the one from uh, the display box behind me. Oh, yeah, what can you do? That's... Uh, never fails. Never fails. What's the point? And I, I panicked because I thought, well... Are the, you getting pirates? <laughs> yeah, the, the game box is behind me. Um, the game boxes behind me are actually empty, except for this epic adventure. Oh, those pirates in. Oh. It's in the community, you know. Dude, 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 dude. It's yeah, it's in the solo challenger set. Oh no, it's in the solo because community is kind of life. Yeah, yeah, it's in the solo challenger. Ah. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Man. It's it's for next week. This is the reason to tune back in. And this is uh, I guess this is part of the reason why uh, we're putting our games in. We're looking to put our games like have an alphabetical order of rule books so that you don't have to remember what set which game comes in. Because you know, even for us, there are times when we have to second guess and want to make it as easy as possible. But... I, yeah. It's also whenever I think a game is epic, I'm like, it's the epic adventure set. Okay, it's epic. <laughs> we're in the epic adventure set. Um, oh, we're getting a question. The Father's Day VIP should work uh, actively now. If it's not working on the website, you can also write us at support at Move38. But uh, yeah, the code should be active now. Um, huh. Okay. Says the code is invalid. Well, we'll double check and make sure it's valid. Awesome. Cool. Little little live, live live shop troubleshooting. Um. All right. Well, I feel like we got through a handful of games. Uh, there, are, uh, and you know, what amount is too many? I think honey, actually is a really cool one to think about with respect to having a lot of links. John, I might have, we might have lost your webcam, sure. Oh, did we lose my my face? Yep, our audio is still perfect. Okay. This well, you may have to, in that case, uh, uh, sign us off if, uh, let me see. I'll give this a go. And see if I'm back up and running. No problem. And there's just so much to talk about, especially when it comes to how many blanks are too many, which are, you know, somewhat of a trick question. But talking about the different edge cases with all of the games that we have, you know, we'd love to pick the conversation up again with pirates and lasers and explore some other really cool things you can do with many blanks. John, I see that we got your camera back. Rad. Yeah, I think that, um, uh, and we'll have to uh, discover this another time, but um, one other thing that I wanted to share is that when you're loading a game, uh, loading like, you know, loading Dark Ball onto 30 blinks versus loading it onto six, pretty close in time. Like they happen pretty similarly, but I bet there's a length of blinks. We have to double check. But I don't know if it's like a thousand or ten thousand, 
that it's just too long that in the teaching process, the blink goes, sorry. I don't, I don't know just, if there's a limit to that though. I think, mm -hmm. yeah. I see what you mean. Um, one day we'll have to test it. Then. I feel like there's probably no limit to it. I feel like if a game is loaded, it'll just go from flashing blue to solid, to be solid green. And I think I'll just waiting for everything else. But you might be right that like at the end of the chain, like will it be patient enough for that final blink to say I'm ready to bounce back? I have faith in the blinks that they cooperate. I'll say yes. <laughs> this, I'll say I'll say yes too. I think I think we'll see it happen at some at one of these uh, one of these events. I feel like um, let's see. Uh, yeah. I'm happy to stop though. Awesome. So what are the last things that people should know that they're who's watching today? Uh, the last thing you should know is that um, we have exercised the clickbait practice. And this is actually a trick question that there is no such thing as too many blinks to have when it comes to quite often your games being able to function. And no matter, when you add more blinks, it's just an opportunity for you to, you know, reinvent the rules in such a way that caters to your experience of how many blinks you have and how many people are surrounding your gigantic table or basketball court. So I hope you can uh, take that knowledge and start to teach us some cool things you did. Because some of you out there have more blinks than even we have as we ship them out to you. That's, yeah. And I'm so excited to see like, you know, people reaching that point. Um, yeah, in the call yesterday, I was just like, Somebody's like, this is becoming a real problem for me. Whenever I see new games, I'm just have to get them. So mm -hmm. I think it's a good problem to have. And I hope that, uh, yeah. I hope you play with a lot of friends. I hope you play with lots of friends. So yeah, thanks so much for uh, hopping on and streaming with me today, Ishmael. I think uh, maybe someday we'll find that number, but not today. And not today. Uh, yeah, of course, if you're, uh, I. I see in the comment thread, we'll make sure that we get the uh, uh, coupon code up and running. And of course, if you're looking for something for a friend or family for Father's Day, now's a great time to uh, get started in Blinks. Uh, also, it's a great excuse, so just a reminder to invite people over to play. As long as you're vaccinated, you're playing safe, now's a great time to reconnect with friends and family. Um, and I know that that's what we're doing at home. And uh, yeah. Um, so check us out, move38.com. And uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe down below and like the video. And we'll see you see next time. Bye.